Hi, my name is Maura White and I'm an independent Norwex sales consultant. And today I'm going to show you a comparison between some common household cleaners with a Norwex Enviro cloth and how well they can clean up our countertops. And to do that, we're going to use one of your kitchen's worst enemies, which is raw chicken juice. So over here, I have a piece of raw chicken, a raw chicken drumstick, and I'm going to rub this on my simulated countertop here. And this is usually what the epitome of the grossest thing you can find in your kitchen is. And we're going to see how well some cleaning products that we have today are going to use to clean it up. Now we can't see the chicken juice right now. We can't tell where it is because it gets dries on, dried on our countertops and the same thing happens with bacteria. We don't always know where it lives or where it's laying on our countertops. So I've got this white powder here that simulate that uh, is this great simulation for size and shape of bacteria. And we're going to use this and we're going to rub this in our countertops right here because this white powder glows amazingly well under UV light. And when we have the UV light, we'll be able to see how well our cleaning products are actually working. So let me get out my UV flashlight here to just show you. It gets pretty, it glows really well. And we've got our three samples set up here. And the three cleaning products I'm going to use today are disinfectant wipes, white vinegar in a spray bottle, and then a Norwex Enviro cloth with just water. And we're going to see how these simulated bacteria gets cleaned up. So let's start with a disinfectant wipe. Now I used to use these all the time. I would give them to my kids in the car, I would wipe down tabletops at restaurants, use them at home to wipe down surfaces, and I know a lot of people use these as a way to disinfect their environments. Now one thing I was not aware of, I learned recently, was if you take a look at the label on your disinfectant wipe container, I don't know if you've read it before, but I recently read it and you're supposed to leave the surface wet from four to 10 minutes. The time varies a little bit between brands, but I've never done that before. I've never gotten out of stopwatch or even had the time to think about how long I've left the surface wet before the, um, before the surface is completely disinfected. So maybe you've made the same mistake I have, but I know that I've, I've used these for years and I've been using them incorrectly. So let's try our next section here is going to be with a white vinegar. And if I'm gonna wipe down white vinegar, I've just got a normal white washcloth here, just a cotton normal washcloth that I have used to clean up the surfaces in my home. Um, I've used these a lot. And so, and the vinegar, which is a great green option, and a lot of people that are saying, well, I already have uh, gotten rid of chemicals in my home because I just use white vinegar to clean up. That is a valid option, but personally for me, I've just never gotten over the smell of vinegar. Even when I add essential oils to it, I just can't, I just don't like cleaning with that smell. So the last one we have here is a Norwex Enviro cloth, again, with just water. There's no chemicals needed, but the microfiber alone is going to pick up what is on the surface here. So we're going to wipe this down and make sure that's nice and clean. And now... Now what do we do? Now we have to see if the surface is really clean or not. So we're gonna get out our UV light again and check to see if there's any of that white powder still remaining on our surfaces. So if we take a look here, this first surface again was the disinfectant wipe. And as you can see, there's some white streaks that are opposite of just the streaks on the tile itself. And you can see that the disinfectant wipe, it looked like it moved around some powder and there's definitely some powder still left over. The second square here, we have, ooh, we got some larger streaks. We got some bright white powder still left over here from the uh, cotton cloth and the white vinegar. So the cotton cloth, you can tell, is not very absorbent and we still got a mess even though we wouldn't have been able to see this with just our eye. And then over here, where the, Nor the Norwax and Viral cloth was, there's no white streaks. Everything has been picked up. It's perfectly clean over here. So let's use our Enviro cloth uh, just to clean up the rest of this surface here. I'm just going to wipe this down. And the microfiber on this just it picks up and holds the bacteria so that you know that the surface is completely clean. So we're going to take a look one last time here. I see no more 
white streaks. We've got a completely clean surface. And just having this visual in my mind just does my heart so, it just makes me feel so much better when I'm cleaning because I visualize the same thing when I'm cleaning my toilets. I visualize the same thing when I'm cleaning around my sinks and inside my sinks. Um, I visualize the same thing when I'm using the Norwax mop system because it's the same microfiber material that I'm using on all these surfaces that it's picking up everything, locking it, holding it, not getting it back onto the surface and we're doing all of this without using harmful chemicals in our home which i think is one of the best parts about this that we can have a clean home without toxic chemicals so if you take a look below i've got a facebook group you can join that has more information about norwax and other products that um, that we offer and I have a blog over at happydealhappyday.com where I share some other tips of how I've used these products. You can take a look below and follow me there and reach out to me, send me an email, subscribe, follow me on my social media accounts and be sure to be in touch and ask me anything you want about Norwex. And thanks so much for watching this today.